Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And here is a simple little problem that many people are going to get wrong. And please do not use your calculator. So here is the question. We want to evaluate negative x squared for the value x is equal to negative 1. So it seems like a pretty straightforward problem, and it certainly it is. However, there is some uh, very, very important details here that a lot of students miss. And again, that's why it's going to lead to a lot of people not getting the correct answer. So if you can figure this out, again, put your calculators away. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how to evaluate this expression for this value. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the answer. And if you're not quite sure what this word means, I'll explain all this here in a second. Of course, if you have taken algebra, uh, you do a ton of problems with this uh, word evaluate, but let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is negative one. Okay. Now, some of you got the answer positive one. All right. So if you got the answer positive one, unfortunately, I have to give you a little sad face, but uh, you know what? Actually, it's good that you made this mistake. And if you're watching this video, you're like, okay, what did I do wrong? Well, pay attention because once you you know, understand, you know, what you did wrong, you won't make that error again. So you need to have an attitude like that in mathematics. You know, like if you make a mistake, you know, I make mistakes in math. I still make mistakes in math. I try to, I try to make less mistakes. No one is perfect. Not even AI, not even a supercomputer just that doesn't exist. There's no, no such thing as hundred percent perfection across the board forever and ever and ever. The key is trying to reduce your errors. But if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100 percent and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know how to properly evaluate an algebraic expression. They'll be very impressed to hear that information. So let's go ahead and get into this problem. OK, so what does it mean to evaluate uh, an algebraic expression or a variable expression in algebra? OK, so here we have the expression negative x squared. All right. So, and remember, in algebra, variables just represent numbers. So we have negative x squared. And when you are asked to evaluate, okay, an expression in algebra, what you're being told is replace that variable with the specific uh, number value assigned. Okay, so in other words, instead of an x, we're going to let that x equal negative 1. So we're going to replace that x with a negative 1, and then we're going to go ahead and simplify uh, you know, this mathematical operation here. Okay. Now here is, well, this is what, this is the part where people get confused. Okay. So how do we approach this problem? We know that we're going to replace this X with a negative one. So, and then we're going to square it. So it can either look uh, one or two ways. Okay. So if I replace this X, actually, let me kind of just keep this all right there so we can see what's going on. I can write it this way. I have a negative negative of a negative one squared, all right, because I'm replacing that x with a negative one, okay? Or I can write it this way, negative, uh, and I can put that negative one inside parentheses and squared, okay? Now, a lot of students make this error, okay? So this right here is the wrong path. But let's see what happens because, you know, this is um, a mistake that anyone can happen, or this is a common mistake, let's just say, when you're first learning, um, if you're not, uh, told how to properly evaluate algebraic expressions, well, you could, you'll make this error. Okay. So here you have negative of negative one squared. What ends up happening is uh, students will see negative of a negative and they'll automatically think, oh, this is going to be positive. Okay. So this will be positive one squared. So positive one squared is just going to be positive one times positive one, which is one. Now that is a logical answer. If you interpreted the setup of this problem in this manner. Okay, so again, a common mistake. All right, so let's talk about what to do. 
Anytime you evaluate a variable or algebraic expression in mathematics, you want to use grouping symbols. You always, always, always want to use parentheses, and you just want to get in the habit of using parentheses even when they're not there, okay, and for all different sorts of situations. So you want to use grouping symbols. So the proper thing to do is to replace this x with this value, but surround it by parentheses, okay? Surrounded by parentheses, so this is not the way you would want to write that. You want to write, you want to write it this way. Okay, now, once you do that, what we need to be thinking about is the order of operations. Okay, this remember this thing right here, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So what's going on here? Well, let's just kind of study this. So P is parentheses. So is there anything inside the parentheses? Well, there's a negative one, but there's no like math to do. There's no other additional operations. So we're going to move on to exponents, powers. Okay, so right here, uh, negative one squared, this is a power. We need to do this first before we do this, okay? This negative right here, negative outside of this, this is really multiplication, okay? So we're not going to do multiplication uh, first. We're going to do powers first, all right? So that's why this you, know, you need to really be using parentheses to make this perfectly clear for you. And even if you wrote it this way, some of you would say, oh, no, I, I wrote it this way and I got the right answer. That's fine, but this is not, you'll get in trouble, believe me, when I tell you. I've graded hundreds and hundreds of thousands of tests and quizzes over the decades. Maybe not that many, but you get the idea. I'm telling you, don't work this way. You work this way. All right, so now we can see negative 1 squared is what? Negative 1 times negative 1, which is a positive 1. Okay, so the result, the result of doing this is positive 1. Now we could take the negative of a positive 1. 1 or negative 1 times a positive 1 or the opposite of a positive 1. Either way you look at it, the answer is negative 1. Okay, so again, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, I would never make that error. But let me, when I tell you, tons and tons and tons of students make that simple little error and then they, you know, they'll get a poor little grade on their test. You know, they might get 75% or something they're not happy with and then they'll come to you and they'll be like, hey, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that. That is probably the most common for, uh, phrase that math teachers hear. They hear the phrase, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that. Please give me full credit. I knew that, right? <laughs> well, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way in real life. Maybe if we tried that, if I knew I was supposed to pay the rent, I knew I was supposed to make my car payment. So just let me slide on it. You know, of course, it, you know, I'm being kind of funny here. But listen, anytime you don't get something fully correct on a math problem, you know, don't never you should never get down about it. Right. You don't want to get comfortable with it, but you want to learn from uh, your mistakes, make your corrections and then kind of move on. We all do. I do. Uh, it's just part of human nature. OK, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need help with this, more like more practice with um, evaluating algebraic expressions, this is stuff that I teach like in you know, my basic pre-algebra, algebra 1 courses. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.